Gremlin on the road. Go back! Today is about things you didn't know about Quebec City. Arguably, maybe, perhaps, if you don't live here. Number one, the most photographed hotel in the world is Chateau Pontenac, according to Google. As for the Guinness World Records website, and um, no. Well, it is picturesque, but not even that old. The now iconic main tower was only added like 30 years into the operation. Which basically just goes to show never trust a Google search. Number two, General Wintry. General Wintry defended Quebec at least on two famous occasions. First time around, credit went to Governor Frontenac. In 1690, Frontenac found himself besieged by the English army under General Phipps. And what happened between the two gentlemen is best described by a classic. You fancy-headed animal food trough water! in your general direction! Now Phipps had to withdraw, but it was Winchy, not Frontenac, that beat him. So Frontenac got a church, and Phipps is remembered as this kind of a joker in the local folklore, which is a bit unfair because later on in New England, as a governor, he ended up the Salem witch hunts. The second time General Winter intervened was when the Americans came for, this time, English Quebec. Don't tell me you don't remember Guy Carlton. In the winter of 1775, the Americans, having captured Montreal, stood outside Quebec. They stood and stood. And the American commander, General Montgomery, had a little bit of a problem. His soldiers were only paid up until the end of the year. So, on the last day of 1775, he decided to go for it. Two things transpired. Taking the lower town before the upper town is the wrong way round. 2. If you don't know where you're going, don't go at night in a blizzard. You might slip and fall to your death. Number 3. The man who never gave up. This is him, Samuel Champlain. Didn't give up after his first Canadian winter, 1604, where 40 plus men came in the summer and under 20, so the following spring. It's as far south as Marseille! How cold can it get? He came to Quebec, and this is where New France started. Right here in this square, this was his house. If not for him, the new France would not have happened. Number 4. The Port of Quebec. It's so quiet now that it's hard to believe that hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people passed through here on their way into Canada. Up until the First World War, this was the main port of entry. In mid-1800s, Quebec handled two-thirds of all North American immigration from Europe. A great many stayed here forever, either on Grosse Isle, the quarantine station, or in the city, too poor or too unskilled to move on. It's just like the Port of London, you couldn't tell today. Number 5. It has a cup cafe. I'm meeting a friend. Welcome to the cat cafe. <laughs> You 
You don't have to book, you don't have to be a minimum age. Cats aren't in cages. <laughs> it's heaven. Okay, time for the hotel review. large panoramic window although it's looking the wrong way because the old town is actually completely on the other side of the building the remote even works from the bed Is okay. okay, not huge but well equipped. Lots of room to stand your stuff, which is not always the case. Last point for this handheld shower. Well, it's still of the American kind, so you cannot have a trickle of hot water, it has to be a deluge. Then it's not as powerful to be a deluge, so it's kind of okay. This was Quebec. And today we're off into the wilderness. And no commentary video of some walks and sides will be up soon.